what a man! Standing there in all his magnificence. A little bit like Johnny Carson walking out. I can't help it that I look good, smell good, woo, can dance all night long. I style, I profile, I can do, I can do whatever I have to do to be the man day in. Woo! And Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Seamless Styles Presents Behind the Scenes. Today we're going to review, we're going to make a review of the new fragrance by Ralph Lauren, Polo Intense. Now, does the packaging look familiar? It should. Polo Intense is a reboot of the iconic Polo Green. Now, depending on your age demographic, you either perked up your face or you cringe. Just depends on your age and your thought process. Uh, Polo Green is the first fragrance from Ralph Lauren. Ergo, the oldest fragrance of Ralph Lauren. And over the past decade or so, it has become a polarizing fragrance from the world of Ralph Lauren. Most people tend to either love it or hate it. And a lot of times it depends on the person's age. Um, Polo Green is a very strong borderline overpowering fragrance. Uh, it's never meant to be something that you splash on heavily. Because it's such a strong fragrance, it needs to be applied lightly. Uh, the fragrance itself, again, has been around for such a long time that gentlemen of the older demographic still tend to love it. Our young gentlemen of the younger demographic, not so much. Me, I'm probably one of the few people that's somewhere in the middle. Polo Green is not my go-to fragrance. However, I've never hated the fragrance. I understand that a little dab will do you when it comes to Polo Green. But here's what's funny, and we're gonna go through this in some more detail in just a few seconds. But here's what's funny. This is called Polo Intense. That would make you think that it's possibly stronger than Polo Green. It's not. It's a lighter fragrance. It's a more toned down version of Polo Green. And I love it. All right, so let's get into it. So first things first, the packaging is beautiful. It's forest green with a silver and pewter blend as far as your top and your Polo clay. Okay? When you open it, Again, it's definitely got a masculine look to it, a masculine appeal to it. You give it a whiff, and you can you can sense polo green, the iconic polo green in this, but it's definitely got some different flavors going on for the nose and the palate. This is a this is a this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love it. I love it. And for my money's worth, it lasts pretty long too. I, I, worn it and gotten compliments on the uh, the uh, fragrance throughout the day six it may be even eight hours later okay but uh let's run down this fragrance let's run down let's run down the different notes in the uh, in polo intense so first your top notes your top notes are mint basil and grapefruit. The first thing that hits my nose when I smell it is the mint and the grapefruit. I can definitely smell the fruit. I can definitely smell the mint as soon as I sniff it. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and try to pull the wool over your eyes. I'm not a perfumer. Uh, I'm not a, a professional. You know, I did research, but I know what my nose smells. And I can definitely smell the mint and I can definitely smell the grapefruit. Now your top notes in, in any fragrance are the first notes that you smell when applied to the skin. Top notes don't last uh, the longest out of your three notes, but 
the reason these guys come up with such amazing fragrances is because your middle notes and your bass notes all end up bl blending in and complementing complementing each other very well and in the word of ralph lauren way more often than not the experts that create these fragrances they they are just top shelf when it comes to putting these notes together for a wonderful experience now i won't get into that today as far as who's responsible for all these amazing amazing fragrance but it will i will get to it once i do a review on the new rouse club fragrance because i want to save all that for that okay but just know for right now only the best of the best create fragrances uh for ralph Lauren. so like i said that top fragrance the top notes basil mint grapefruit and you'll definitely smell that mint and grapefruit now your nose might be stronger than mine you might smell that basil i think i cook too much italian food to be able to smell the basil in this uh in this particular fragrance but i definitely smell that mint and that grapefruit your middle notes those are the notes that shine through once the top notes have started to evaporate your middle notes here are clary sage thyme and violet leaf now i don't know what clary sage i know what sage smells like i don't know what clary sage smells like exactly i don't know what violet leaf smells like exactly i do know what thyme smells like Time is great uh, with rosemary when fixing pork, but that's another conversation for another day. But what I will tell you is that I felt like this Eau de Parfum was at its best about three, four hours in after the application. So that would make your middle notes be those notes that are really, really grabbing the attention of passer buyers and maybe even yourself, depending on how, how often you walk around smelling yourself, okay? Uh, clary Sage, Thyme, Violet Leaf, those are your middle notes. The base notes in this fragrance is what makes this one of the most manly fragrances out. The base note, the base notes, excuse me, are Ambrosian, Vetiver, and patchouli now what you get when you mix ambrosian vetiver, vetiver and patchouli is you get a a sweet spicy musky fragrance that has that 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 hint of green in it green grass wet grass uh damp soil very very unique fragrances and those are your base notes so once you combine that with the mint, the fruity, the fruitiness, once you combine all of that together, you got polo green. And I'm telling you, this is a this is this will fastly become one of my favorite favorite fragrances. Now, this is a year-round fragrance in my opinion. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just going off of scent. I'm just going off of aroma. I'm just going off of the notes and I'm going off of how long it lasts. All right. This is a year round fragrance. Spring, summer, absolutely. Fall and winter, whew, absolutely. Now, doing research, there were a few other people, whoever they may be, I don't know, I don't care, uh, that tend to feel like this is more of a spring, summer fragrance. And that's fine. This will definitely be in, in heavy rotation with my year-round fragrances, especially my fall and winter fragrances. Um, I just love how there's no denying there's no denying this fragrance. N nobody, I don't, I personally don't feel like anyone is going to smell this fragrance on you and not like it. It may not be your wife or your significant other's favorite fragrance on you. Nobody's going to say they hate this Polo Intense. Uh, again, like I said, beautiful, beautiful notes, long lasting, very manly, uh, definitely not as overpowering or intense 
as its predecessor, the iconic Polo Green. So why it's called Intense, I don't know, but I like it. There's nothing about this I don't like. Uh, it's definitely highly recommended. Uh, on, the scale of, on the scale of one to five, I would rate this a four and a half. I would rate this a four and a half. Uh, and the only reason I'm not going to give it a five is because I don't know if I've, if I've had or smelled a fragrance that's perfect yet. So I don't want, I don't want to just give it the perfect five star rating just yet. Um, might give it some time. I might revisit that because that's how good this fragrance is. Polo Intense is available on RalphLauren.com. Uh, it is available in most of your department stores, but RalphLauren.com has a, a full supply. I definitely uh, would recommend going online and copying you a bottle today. It's definitely worth it. And remember, guys, you don't have to rub. You don't have to rub cologne in. It's simple. You hit your spots, wrist. If it goes to your hand a little bit, it's fine. Behind the ear. And of course, I applied this fragrance before I got dressed. So I did hit front of the neck and somewhat down the chest because it's a it's a it's not an overbearing fragrance. So I'm not worrying about too, putting too much on, but at the same time, it will allow to come out through the uh the small holes in the shirt don't put cologne on your clothes you don't have to do that uh and i will get to at a later date on what ralph Lauren fragrances are great blended together i'm not huge on blending fragrances it is a thing i'm not mad at it but i will get to that on a later date as we start reviewing more fragrances uh, but this one right here is a standalone. This one will be a classic. Uh, it will be up there with Purple Label and Polo Blue as far as a go-to fragrance for a lot of men uh, across the board, young and uh, more mature. All right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and tell a friend about that Polo Green Intense. We here. All right? Y'all have a good one.